to see him at the upcoming Ventura Comedy Festival. Put it together for Phil De Janeiro, everybody. You guys got dogs? No. Dogs are funny. You guys ever fall down in front of your dog and it starts humping your face and you accidentally suck its dick? I always like to start with something dirty. Uh, uh, I said hi to a girl the other day. You know what she said to me? No. I'm like, God damn, cunt. You don't know how to communicate properly. No is not an appropriate response to hi. And it wasn't even like I said it in a sexual way. It was hi. It was more of like a how do you do? Hi. Um, cunts, though, they have their own language. I mean, I'm not fluent in Cantonese, but uh, a normal person hears hi, but she hears something completely different. She hears, bend over and let me fuck you. And, uh... Well, I forgot the uh, next part. Um, <laughs> what was that part? The rape part. No, it wasn't that. Uh, I'm moving on. All right, uh, I try to uh, be romantic with women, but um, it's kind of hard when you own an air mattress. I mean, is there anything more embarrassing than having to blow up your bed before having sex? Especially when you can't find the pump and you gotta manually blow it up. Hold on, this is gonna be a minute. And then you wake up and you're both in a taco. You ever try to get up out of a partially deflated air mattress without looking retarded? It's impossible. Um, you guys follow the Sandusky case? You guys familiar with that at all? So, one of the kids who got sodomized is going to get a multi-million dollar settlement. Which is fucking amazing. Take it in the ass for just a fucking season? It's nothing. He made out. Like, I don't understand the big deal about the whole thing. Like, Jerry Sandusky was a defensive coach. The first thing you teach a young defensive lineman is penetration. I mean, if you can't, if you don't have gap discipline, and you can't stop the spread offense, maybe you're not cut out to be a Penn State football player in the Big Ten. He was doing that kid a favor. Um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, I listen to a lot of rap music. You guys listen to rap? Rap's pretty shitty now, but I think the reason why is a lot of young black males are being murdered. And... I mean, I think we should just make it completely illegal, no matter what, like, if they rob you first, if they shoot you first, if they break you in your house, just unlike the off chance that they could survive a gun wound and drop a hot rap album. Like, I think if Trayvon Martin would have survived, he could have dropped a hot rap album. Like, I could just picture it and be like, yo, I smoke George Zimmerman like a carcinogen. I was like, God damn, that new Trayvon Martin CD is hot. Shit's fire. I'm telling you, yo, pick up that Skills and Ice Tea album. Shit is dope. Um, I always wanted to be a rapper, but I'm not balling enough right now. And like the shit that I would put out, you could, you can't bump it. Like, I ain't got no money, ain't getting no pussy. No pussy. I ain't got no money, ain't getting no pussy. Oh. Uh. Wave your empty wallets in the sky. Wave them side to side if your bank account's dry. While I give your girl the eye. Bartender, please. Two drinks of water on me. All right. My name is Phil DeGenero. And uh, thanks.